everyone, my name is Shauna in case you don't know and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a Harry Potter haul. I'll actually be filming this over the course of a few days because it's not going to get here all at once. I'm impatient. I need to open it as soon as it gets here. So today I'm going to be opening this box of Noble Collection items. The only thing I've bought for the Noble Collection ever is wands. So these are two wands. I really want to collect all the wands but I keep telling myself like no you should only buy a wand if you're going to cosplay the character unless I go to like the studio tour unless I go to Universal Studios then I buy myself one wand each time I'm there and it doesn't have to be a character that I'm gonna cosplay so these two characters are characters that I've cosplayed and I didn't have their wand which was fine but I really wanted their wand to go with the character let's open this oh and also I'm gonna address that I'm not sure how much money goes directly to the problematic author from buying the stuff that I'm showing in this video but because I'm sure that some of my money will be going to the author what I have done is I have spent some money actually donating to trans people who need support, whether that be to help with their transitions or whether it be to help get them out of a dangerous or unsafe living space or just to help them stay in the space that they're at so they don't have to go back to an unsafe living space. I find all of these GoFundMes directly on Twitter. I just like giving my money directly to these trans people who need help. And because I have a little bit of money with my stimulus checks, I was able to do that this month. Ah, the tape is not coming off easily. I pulled off the cardboard tape and there's plastic tape. Okay, I think we gotta open. Use a little pen to open it. There we go. Let's open it on up. There we go. Okay. So two wands in here. It's always hard to ship wands, I feel like, because the box are always much bigger than the actual wands, but there's no easy box shape for wands, you know? We have two wands. One is Harry Potter, one is Fantastic Beasts. Let's do Harry Potter first. So out of the Golden Trio, I never had Ron Weasley's wand, but I did cosplay Ron Weasley in the last year. So I got his wand. I cosplayed his Yule Ball version, but I'm considering cosplaying his just like normal school outfit version and doing the makeup more like book heavy because he has freckles in the book and in the movie he doesn't really have freckles as much. It's really hard to show with the lighting, but these Noble Collection wands for the Harry Potter side of things come with a little sticker that say Ron Weasley and there's the castle. It comes with each character's name. I have a ton of these type of wands. I prefer the universal style wand boxes but I believe that these ones were cheaper and that's why I went with this one. Because I don't like that it has the slidey thing and there's another thing I don't like that you'll see soon. I'm not 100% sure on the prices of these things, but I'm sure you can find out on the website. Okay. It's always hard to open wand boxes for the first time. There we go. So it just has the little thingamadoo, pull it off, and there's the wand. Besides the fact that I didn't cosplay Ron until this past year, I think the reason why I waited so long to buy his wand is because his wand almost reminds me a little bit of Harry's. It has just the handle and it's brown. But I do think that it is very unique and I like it. This is obviously his second wand, not his first wand that got broken in Chamber of Secrets. If I were to cosplay a version of Ron from Chamber of Secrets or Sorcerer's Stone, then I would definitely go ahead and buy his first wand, but for now, I have just bought his second wand. The Noble Collection ones also come with another thing that I'm not necessarily a huge fan of that always annoys me because it makes it hard to shove the wand in the box, but some collectors use these and it looks really cool when they do use them. So every wand that you get from Noble Collection that is in one of these little boxes, the slip thing, comes with this. It's a little like name tag thing. And I think that some people get wand displays and then they want to have the character name there so they can see which wand is which. And then I think you just clip it here. And then if you display it, you can imagine that you can see all the different little character tags and it's sort of fun. I have cats who would gladly knock this off the stand and break it. So that's why I keep them in the boxes unless I take them out for pictures. See, here's the reason why I don't like the metal things because sometimes the wand doesn't fit right with it. I'm always worried that it's gonna scratch the wand. I take this off so that I could get it back in the box. It's just a hassle. It's not like the worst thing in the world, but it's not my favorite thing in the world. But I do like that Noble Collection has this like extra padding to keep it all safe in the box. Also, for anyone who wants to order anything from Noble Collection, if you're in the US, make sure to order from the normal Noble Collection site because I one time tried to order from the noblecollection.co.uk site and it wouldn't let me order and I was like, freaking out and then I was like oh this is because I'm not using my brain and realizing that I have to use the American site. Ta-da! Ron's wand. You saw it. You loved it I hope. Now on to the next wand. 
which is in a little bit of a funky box. So there's no book collection there. So I'm like 99% sure there's a normal wand box in here. Yep. This is for a character that I have cosplayed recently that you would have seen on my Instagram if you follow me there. This is the Fantastic Beast wand box. The Fantastic Beast wand box is much wider than the Harry Potter wand boxes and it has this pretty little design on it and it says Fantastic Beast. And I got Newt's Commander because I cosplay Newt. And then it has the fancy little pachoo thing. Oh no, it rolled out of its little spot. See it rolled out. Oh well, it is still fine. So this is Newt's Commander's wand. It has a ton of detail that I really, really appreciate. So to start off with, we have what is reminiscent of somewhat of a little like shell down there. And then it just has this pretty design. And then it has teeth marks from when he puts the wand in his mouth. This is smaller than I thought it would be for some reason. I don't know. I thought it would be like thicker or longer, but it's okay. It is perfect. I still love it. Yeah, I don't remember the price difference between the Fantastic Beast wands and the Harry Potter wands. I'm not sure if there even is a price difference, but there is definitely a different style of box that each one is in. I really want to collect all of the Fantastic Beast wands because I feel like they're all so beautiful, but I don't know if I ever will. Because this is my second Fantastic Beast wand, and for Harry Potter wands, let me think what number this is. This is at least my 11th wand. Yeah, I'm obsessed with wands. So this is all for part one of this video. I will see you back in a few days when another one of the items arrives. So talk to all of you in a little bit. For you, it will just be a few seconds. And we're back for part two of this Harry Potter haul. I want to say that I don't think that money goes directly to the problematic author from these. I don't think so. I think it's a cosplay company who gets all the money. I'm not really sure how it works though. So these are some cosplay outfits. It's from a company called Cosplay Sky or Cos Sky. Luna. Luna. Put your butt back. Don't put your face in front of the camera. So I'm going to be trying these on to show them to you. These are two pieces that I've been wanting for a really long time. And since I got a stimulus check, I was like, now's the time to buy these dresses. These are both dresses for Hermione. So this, to start off with, is the dress that she wears to Bill and Fleur's wedding. So you can see, I had to read the size charts on the website because the company is not based in the US, so the sizes do not match up with US sizes, which always when you order any sort of cosplay things, check the size chart because a lot of cosplay stuff that you order online comes from Europe and Asia and they have different size charts. So really, really look at the size charts. So this is a size extra large. And then there is this to go with it. And then the next one is a little less screen accurate, but it's Hermione's Yule Ball gown. It has a little sachet thing. And then let's see the actual dress. It's a lot more red this dress than the actual one but that's okay i'm fine with it you might not be fine with it but i'm fine with it and it looks like this and yeah it's a little red i need a whole like apartment for all my cosplays oh okay let me go try these on i'm not 100 percent sure of the prices but i do think that at least this one was on sale when i got them and i got them together because I wanted both of them and I was like I have a stimulus check I can actually spend money on cosplays that I've been dreaming of so yeah let's go try these on and the next time you'll see me we'll be in my bathroom okay so I wish I would have ordered a size smaller but I'm really like tall and thin because it feels like it needs to be like this and it's not like this so I don't know if I'll be able to tailor it because I'm not that good at sewing so <sighs> I don't know, I'm frustrated. But I do think that it's really good quality. It was handmade at their site, I believe, because I was reading about their company. I need to buy a wig because I feel like I can't style my hair like Hermione's very well. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Now to try the next one on. Yet again, another one that I wish I would have ordered in a size smaller. I ordered based on my height. See, this is like the right length for me. But I'm too thin! So I think that this goes around here. When I take pictures with it, I'll make sure that's better. So this is what it is. I'm gonna jump, I think, so you can see the full colors. Okay, one, two, three. I have an aunt who can sew. So maybe I'll ask her to help me tailor these so that they're tighter. So that's all for part two. I'll see you for part three. Part three, I don't remember what I ordered. So part three will be a shock to me too, but I know that there is a part three. I just took off all my makeup from filming other videos and then I went to get the mail 
And the final pieces for my Harry Potter haul are here. It's really hot in my room and I feel like I'm gonna pass out, so <laughs> I'm gonna do this really quickly. Gotta open this up. This is from the Signature Shop, which I have ordered stuff from in the past. In case you haven't seen my Harry Potter autograph haul, I will link that down in the description below. As far as I'm aware, the money from these don't go to the problematic author, they go to the actors. I just check there occasionally and sometimes there's autographs I don't have, so I picked up two of them. They always come with a certificate of authenticity. So this autograph is from James Potter in Order of the Phoenix. I'm drawing a blank on the guy's name right now. I feel really bad about this. I will look it up, but as I said, I'm really hot. I'm not feeling well. So I need to do this quickly. That's pretty cool. And then I got my girl Lavender's signature Jissy Cave. I love Lavender so much. I actually cosplayed Lavender recently, so that was really fun. And yeah, I got her autograph. I really hope I can meet her someday because she seems like a really cool person. But I know that she has three kids, so I'm like, I don't know if she'll do conventions a lot more in the future. I don't know because she has so many kids, but yeah. E, I'm so happy with these two. This is all from my Harry Potter haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. I will include links down in the description below for the items that were shown in this video. If they're still available, if they're not available, then I will be linking just the shop that I ordered them from down in the description below. I'll see all of you in my next video. Goodbye!